Hi, welcome back to Be Creative Stamping and part two on how to create a candy bar wrapper. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create multiple wrappers on one sheet of paper and print it out. So let's get started. If you remember, we have three elements that, uh, that were used to create this candy bar wrapper. So I've highlighted the stamp brush set that we used and I'm going to move it away from the wrapper. And then I'm gonna go back and I'm going to click on the Whisper White circle punch that we added. And then I'm also going to click and highlight the one inch by three inch designer paper. So I'm going to take these two elements and I'm going to go up to a range and I'm going to group the two items together. So now they're one. Then I'm going to go to Grab Party and I'm going to move it back up here and just lay it on top of our little Whisper White Circle. And then I'm going to highlight or click on the designer paper, go to Arrange and Group. So now both items, or, or all three items, are grouped together and now it's going to be easy to copy and paste. So we'll go up to edit and click copy and then back to edit and paste. And then we're gonna move it right next door to this wrapper. And we are going to just repeat paste until we get all the way across. So here we go. I think I can fit seven wrappers across the top. And another one. And one more. Okay, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is highlight all the wrappers. And I'm going to go back to arrange and I'm going to align them. And let's see, I'm going to align and center horizontally. Actually, I'm going to space evenly. So let me space them evenly horizontally. And there they are. Then I can also space them vertically. So highlight again, go up to arrange, align, and space vertically. And there, we're go there we go. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna highlight them one more time. And I'm going to group these wrappers together. So now they're one unit. And then I can go to edit and paste. Whoops, let's see. I don't think you did it for me that time. All right, let's do, hit the undo button and let's try that again. I'm gonna click undo one more time. And then I'm going to click, there we go, now they're grouped. We're gonna go up to edit and we're gonna copy and edit and paste and then we're gonna move these guys down and then we're going to paste another group and we'll paste these all right and then I'm gonna highlight the other two as well or select them here we go all three groupings are selected and we'll go back up to arrange and we are going to align and we will center horizontally and I believe that's all we need to do we could center them vertically but we really don't need to so there we go everything is in line so after you print it it'll be easy for you to take your paper trimmer and trim them all right, let's head on over to print. We're in the design center and you will go down to share project. If you want to create from home, this is the section where you will do that or you can professionally print it through Stampin' Up and they do an awesome job and you would use professional print and you would click on individual page if you want Stampin' Up to print it and it will walk you through the steps. 
we're going to create this from home so we're going to go up here from create from home and click the printer button and yes we would like to save our page before printing so it's going to take just a few minutes to save and it's going to ask us to select what it is we want to, to uh, print and I'm going to click that box right there. I could also click this box, select all, all right? I need one copy of this because it's going to make, um, you know, oodles of wrappers for me. And then I really want quality printing. So I'm gonna scroll this on over or slide it over to 100%. And then I can hit print. And then it will print from my home computer. So that's all there is to it. Please let me know if you have any questions. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And thanks so much for buzzing by.